Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in this video we have 15 practice questions for those of you that are taking the PANTS exam, the Physician Assistant National Certifying Exam. But before you do, make sure you like and subscribe to this video to let us know that you like these types of videos and we can produce more content like this. Let's begin. Question 1. A 65-year-old man complains are sharp, intense pain in the chest during inhalation and exhalation. The pain radiates to the neck and down the back. On further investigation, chest x-ray shows widening of aorta and a blood pressure difference between the right and left arms is observed. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Question two, which of the following is an example of microcytic anemia? Question three, a 20 year old boy presents with pruritic rash on examination, he has gray-white color lines and tiny burrows between his fingers and around his wrist. He complains of itching that is often severe and worse at night. Choose an appropriate management for this patient. Question 4. You ordered an ECG for a 70-year-old 70, 70 patient that shows sawtooth-like waves, QRS complex of 85 milliseconds, ventricular tachycardia, and regular RR intervals is observed. What is the most likely cause of this or abnormality? Question five, you are evaluating a 65 year old woman for an advanced colon cancer. Which of the following markers will help you to proceed with your investigations? Question six, which of the following hepatitis virus manifests as an acute infection in children. Question seven. A 40 year old woman complains of unintentional weight loss and heat intolerance. Her heart rate is 125 beats per minute on further examination, she appears to have exophthalmos. What is the most likely diagnosis? Question eight. A young boy presents with photophobia, fever, vomiting, and headache. What is the most appropriate investigation to confirm the diagnosis? Question nine. A man comes to you saying that he has repeated thoughts to wash his hands all the time. He is unable to concentrate on other activities as he is repeatedly washing his hands after every 15 to 20 minutes. What is the most appropriate management in this case? Question 10. A 45 year old woman presents with breathlessness. She confirms having lesions on shins and polyarthralgia. A chest x-ray was done which shows bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy. What is the most likely diagnosis?
Question 11. A 45-year-old man diagnosed with chronic glomerul nephritis comes to you feeling unwell. His blood pressure is 140 over 90. You order his lab reports and the following results are obtained. Read below. Which medication will you prescribe to this patient? Question 12. A 30-year-old lady who has been using intrauterine contraceptive device for two years complains of pelvic pain and heavy menstrual bleeding. What is the underlying cause of her symptoms? Question 13. A 38-year-old woman feels tired and lethargic. Her blood pressure is 160 over 90. You ordered blood tests and the following results, results are reported. Read below. What is the possible cause for the results above? Question 14. A patient comes to you with low hemoglobin, MCV of 78, red swollen tongue, colonychia, and angular stomatitis. What is the underlying cause of the patient's symptoms? Question 15. A 66-year-old man has episodes of dizziness, chest pain, and palpitations. You order an ECG and the following results below are noted. Pause the video to look at the results. What is the most likely diagnosis of the patient? Okay guys, now it's time to see how many of the 15 questions you answered correctly. Again, these are practice questions to get you prepared for the PANTS exam. Like we mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can create more videos, medical quizzes, and trivia like this video. Question one, a 65 year old man complains are sharp, intense pain in the chest during inhalation and exhalation. The pain radiates to the neck and down the back. On further investigation, chest x-ray shows widening of aorta and a blood pressure difference between the right and left arms is observed. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? For question one, the answer is C, aortic dissection. Question two, which of the following is an example of microcytic anemia? The answer is E, thalassemia. Question three, a 20-year-old boy presents with puritic rash. On examination, he has gray-white color lines and tiny burrows between his fingers and around his wrist. He complains of itching that is often served and worse at night. Choose an appropriate management for this patient. The answer is A, topical permethrin. Question four, you ordered an ECG for a 70-year-old patient that shows sawtooth-like waves, QRS complex of 85 milliseconds, ventricular tachycardia, and regular RR intervals is observed. What is the most likely cause of this abnormality? The answer is B, atrial flutter. Question five, you are evaluating a 65-year-old woman for advanced colon cancer. Which of the following markers will help you to proceed with your investigations? The answer is C, C E A. Question six, which of the following hepatitis virus manifests as an acute infection in children? The answer is A, H A V. Question seven, a 40 year old woman complains of unintentional weight loss and heat intolerance. Her heart rate is 125 beats per minute. 
On further examination, she appears to have exophthalmos. What is the most likely diagnosis? Answer is C, hypothyroidism. Question 8. A young boy presents with photophobia, fever, vomiting, and headache. What is the most appropriate investigation to confirm the diagnosis? Answer is C, blood glucose. Question 9. A man comes to you saying that he has repeated thoughts to wash his hands all the time. He is unable to concentrate on other activities as he is repeatedly washing his hands every 15 to 20 minutes. What is the most appropriate management in this case? Answer is A, cognitive behavioral therapy. Question 10. A 45-year-old woman presents with breathlessness. She confirms having lesions on shins and polyarthralgia. A chest x-ray was done which shows bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy. What is the most likely diagnosis? The answer is C, sarcoidosis. Question 11. A 45-year-old man diagnosed with chronic glomerular nephritis comes to you feeling unwell. His blood pressure is 140 over 90. You order his lab reports and the following results are obtained below. Which medication will you prescribe to this patient? Answer is A, ACE inhibitors. Question 12, a 30 year old lady who has been using intrauterine contraceptive device for two years complains of pelvic pain and heavy menstrual bleeding. What is the underlying cause of her symptoms? Answer is D, pelvic inflammatory disease. Question 13, a 38 year old woman feels tired and lethargic. Her blood pressure is 160 over 90. You order blood tests and the following results are reported below. What is the possible cause of the results? Answer is B, Combs syndrome. Question 14, a patient comes to you with low hemoglobin, MCV of 78, red swollen tongue, coilonychia, and angular stomatitis. What is the underlying cause of the patient's symptoms? Answer is B, iron deficiency anemia. Question 15, a 66 year old man has episodes of dizziness, chest pain and palpitations. You order an ECG and the following results below are noted. What is the most likely diagnosis of the patient? The answer is A, ventricular tachycardia. And there you have it guys, your 15 practice questions for the PANTS exam. Let me know how you thought this quiz was for you, if it was difficult, easy. Um, any feedback is greatly appreciated. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you want me to do more questions uh, on the PANTS exam, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, and we will see you guys on the next one.